Islamic State is a radical militant transnational non-state armed group that has formally adopted this name since June 29, 2014. The group is led since May 2010 by Iraqi-born Ibrahim al-Samarai, known as Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and also under the moniker Khalif Ibrahim, a radical militant who had been imprisoned by U.S. forces in Iraq between 2004 and 2009. Estimates of how many members the group boasts range from 52,000 to 257,000 men. Although physically based in Iraq and Syria, the group represents a global phenomenon with approximately 30,000 foreign fighters coming from some 100 countries, about 7,000 of whom moved to IS-held territory in 2015. The Islamic State shares a close history with Al-Qaeda, the tightly structured, initially hierarchical organization set up by Osama bin Laden in 1989 in Afghanistan, but is different from it and has moved away from it to be in fact in competition with it by now. At that time, Al-Qaeda was being restructured and launching the so-called regional franchises. In October 2004, Zarqawi's group became Al-Qaeda in the land of Mesopotamia or Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Following the death of Zarqawi in June 2006, Al-Qaeda in Iraq shifted to the Islamic State in Iraq with three different successive leaders until Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi took the helm in 2010. In other words, the first incarnation of the Islamic State goes back to 2006. The key change takes place when in 2010, Baghdadi seizes on three key events, the death of bin Laden, the Arab Spring in that year, and the degeneration of the civil war in Syria to reboot his group. The Islamic State has several layers in its history and equally in its motivations. In Iraq, it is primarily driven by a confessional logic which takes the form of a fierce, by now existential, opposition to the Shiite governmental troops and militias. In Syria, the group is primarily fighting the Alawi-dominated authoritarian regime of Bashar al-Assad. And as an extremist group, the Islamic State follows a radical Islamist Salafist ideology. Yes, it does. The Islamic State has been pursuing a strategy on three related levels that function as concentric circles where it has been cumulatively doing three things, holding ground, developing resilience, and expanding fronts. Financially, the group has evolved from small-scale financial support from foreign benefactors and donations to an industrial-scale economic base with pirate oil sales, wheat fields production, woods controlled, banks held, and all manner of black market practices. It is now custodian of several million US dollars. Many terrorists and insurgencies have previously had great impact, but none has combined transnationality, militarization, and local control on such a wide scale with a robust and battle-hardened command structure. The group has acquired a large amount of weapons, mostly those which the United States had provided to the Iraqi army. Beyond, the group's modus operandi is rooted in the unpacking of a mode of combat built on four components. The enlargement of the spatial dimension rendered indeterminate, the transformation of the temporal element accelerated and decelerated at will, the expansion of the nature of the targets blending civilian and military, and the systematization of asymmetry.